Hello everyone, I am Dr. Aramugam Rajavelu, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Biotechnology, uh, Bhupad Mehta School of Bioscience in IIT Madras. The main reason why I was chosen um, IIT Madras is the research environment and the research infrastructures. The, compared to the many other institutions in India, uh, the IIT Madras has a very strong uh, research infrastructure, which I like it. And the second most reason is uh, the interdisciplinary environment, which, uh, you know, which is essential for any researchers, particularly for a biologist. Also the third reason, the Department of Biotechnology. So unlike many other institutions in biological sciences, uh, the IIT Biotechnology Department has a like more you know uh, multidisciplinary uh, domains. For example, it has a, a, a computational biology group, it has a chemical biology group, and it has a you know a biomolecular science groups. So these are the groups which is you know uh, very difficult to find in other biological divisions, other institutions. So it for me, it for me, you know, it's easy for me to collaborate and uh, do research and you know make things very easier. I don't need to look at you know collaboration outside. So these are quite a bit of reasons why I've chosen. And also the campus, the campus is so beautiful, and uh, within the you know main city, which you won't find in many other institutions. And the last reason, of course, you know, um, it's uh, my home state. And then uh, that's another reason why I choose an IIT Madras. Yeah, why I choose in teaching? Yes. So for this also, you know, I have a long-standing uh, you know, uh, an interest from my PhD time onwards. So one of my you know uh, discussions during my PhD time uh, with my professors, uh, like we were. I was thinking, you know, to start a career in you know, both research and teaching, because you know, balancing research and teaching is very, very important. Uh, because you know, research is, in, you know, you won't taste the success immediately. So you always, you know, uh, uh, get the uh, success after some time, after months and years. Whereas in teaching, in every day. Uh, you feel on, on the on the on the day of you know uh, end of the classes and every day you feel something okay you have done something to the society or something to the students uh, which you feel more happy. See, I look at this in two perspective. One is uh, you know um, an interest. So for every researcher, including me, I'm not you know kind of very little experience. I'm pretty young guy. So uh, maintaining or you know, developing an interest towards research is very, very important. So without interest, you cannot move even a single step. So what I suggest, first thing you develop an interest. Okay. So uh, if you don't develop an interest, that's it. You cannot do anything. And second thing that's very, very important, sustaining the interest. It's not only developing an interest, sustaining the interest, again, it, you know, uh, uh, it's very important uh, uh, in a research camp. In IIT Madras, I'm planning to do a uh, new research domain uh, that's called uh, molecular epigenetics. It's a new area which deals about um, how uh, the gene expressions are fine-tuned in every cells in the eukaryotes. The second part of the project which I, you know, I started in IIT Madras uh, uh, with the funding from the, uh, one of the government funding agencies, uh, DBT, Department of Biotechnology, Government of India, uh, where it has a towards a you know, potential translational value. In that project, we were aiming to identify a new vaccine candidate against a malaria, uh, which is uh, lacking. Yeah, so what is my teaching approach to the students, uh, particularly in this time? Yeah, so earlier, you know, uh, uh, during my uh, career in uh, RGCB, I used to teach to the uh, PhD students as well as MRC Biotechnology students. So there, my teaching approach used to be chalkboard and PowerPoint slide presentations. So usually I try to, you know, I explain to the students uh, uh, in, you know, clubbing chalkboard as well as presentations. 
in most cases i try to interact with them every 3 to 4 classes after every 3 to 4 classes because uh, you know interactions in the form of quiz with the students after four classes always helps them to keep it a refresh so here also i'm planning to do the similar way uh, interact with the students after four classes in the form of quiz so that you discuss with them the most importantly so what you'll do no you'll uh, some of the missing point which you may missed in the uh, some of the points which you may missed in the classes you will try to recollect uh, and try to explain during the quiz so i feel this is essential for the student to recollect many things whatever we teach otherwise usually they tend to forget it yeah so what i want to do next my immediate plan in iid madras uh, i am currently fully engaged in setting a laboratory uh, luckily i got a good laboratory uh, in a block 1 so a uh, little bit you know kind of refurbishing work, work is going on currently so hopefully it will be done in a month